Hey everyone, this is Clark with TV Mounting New York City. So the title of this, this uh, video or podcast, depending on where you're listening, is What kind of mount should I get? And I say that because this is uh, coming up into the fall, coming up into fall, and it's really the season where people are doing a lot of purchasing of TVs and mounts. And what I have seen are people getting pressured or get it, or getting you know get getting mounts that they really don't need. Most people, if you're getting like a, most people only need a flat mount, a basic flat mount. Uh, now, for some people that doesn't work, and they do want to have the option of tilting. Then you can invest in a tilting flat mount, a flat mount that's going to still be flat, but it will allow you to move the TV forward. Or tilt it forward slightly in case um, maybe you know you're sitting too close to the TV and you, d you basically just want to change the uh, the viewing option on the TV it does offer a bit of leverage from that standpoint but the average the person who has a TV you know it, it the size is not really the importance the, the most people just want the TV on the wall flat on the wall a basic good flat mount will work now having that been said a lot of people are interested in full motion or articulating mounts. Here is the situation. Um, you know, if you are, if you, view, if you if you see that, you know, you're going to have the need, really have the need to change the direction of your TV, then it makes sense. All right. If you're, you know, you're, you have it in the living room and you possibly see that you're going to be entertaining and you want to change, you know, change the direction, fine. You really don't need a flat, a, a tilting mount in your bedroom. Um, a lot of times this time of year, people will, will invest in mounts that they really don't need. All right. So, again, if you're getting a TV mount, more than likely... The only thing you need is a flat, generic flat mount. If you want to get an articulating mount, uh, or if you want to get a flat mount that has a tilting option, that's a good investment as well. Most people don't need a full motion mount. And the thing is this, if you're really going to get a full motion mount, then you need to get a good one. Um, full motion mounts can be expensive. So if you're going to in invest in a full motion mount, then you want to spend the money and get a good, strong mount that's going to support the weight of your TV. I've seen instances where people will get um, get a, a full motion mount and have a TV that's too heavy for it and actually weigh and, and leave the arms fully extended. And then this will sabotage the installation. All right. So you don't want to do that. You want to protect your investment of your TV. And, and really, you, you want to put it flat on the wall. Unless you see yourself moving the TV around around a bit. Um, and most people are not going to ever need that full motion uh, use. Most people. And I've seen people with like basement apartments. For whatever reason, they're getting full motion mounts and stuff like that. Most of the time, it's totally unnecessary. All right? Thank you.